For two seasons, the Peacock Miraculous remained a peculiar mystery. The Broken Miraculous held more questions than answers as Natalie's illness weighed on her character, leaving her bedridden on occasion. The implications the damage Miraculous had for its Kwame and Wielder were significant. As Natalie's physical health declined, Dusu experienced a mental blockage, as described in Truth, which made her feel like there was constant chaos in her head. The constant distress that Natalie and her Kwame experience changes the course of the series. The Miraculous Ladybug narrative revolves around the Peacock Miraculous. Had Gabriel never discovered it over a decade previous, then the series wouldn't have happened, and main characters like Adrian Agrest wouldn't even exist. Unfortunately, these events get set into motion because the Peacock Miraculous was broken in the first place, making it a serious issue. A similar butterfly effect could occur if another broken Miraculous is used in the world, as its existence could change its Kwame, Wielder, and the people touched by its power. At the end of Season 5's finale, Recreation, Gabriel loses the Butterfly Miraculous during his battle with Bug Noir. The fight and the few moments of the Miraculous not having a wielder could mean the brooch got damaged without anyone realizing it. That's why in today's video, we're considering what could happen if the Butterfly Miraculous remained broken at the start of Season 6. Pac-Man, I am Mayura. You're up against the wall, plagued by your deepest, darkest despair. Let me help you. The Peacock Miraculous leaves plenty of evidence of what can happen if someone uses a broken Miraculous. The magical jewels aren't safe to use if they undergo damage, but despite knowing that, Emily Agrest chooses to use the Miraculous so she can have a child, as shown in Representation. Colt Fathom follows in her choice and they live around 14 years after creating a single Sentimonster. Natalie's deteriorating health comes on much more quickly as she uses the Miraculous frequently as Myura to create Sentimonsters. In contrast to the other wielders, Natalie only lives for a few months, as she loses her battle against the magical illness in Confirmation. Therefore, it seems the more someone uses a broken Miraculous, the quicker their death will be. So where does that leave Lila at the start of Season 6 if she managed to steal a broken Miraculous? The timeline of when Lila learned Gabriel's secret identity as Monarch remains unclear, although it has to have happened sometime before the episode Emotion. Lila strikes up a plan to get revenge on Gabriel for firing her from his brand. And in Revelation, she puts this plan into motion by encouraging him to akumatize her into a villain. With the powers she receives as Hoaxer, she successfully tricks Gabriel, even with the telepathic link established between them. Update complete! Welcome, I am Hoaxer, your new source of information. Lila's master manipulation skills come in handy in that episode as she brainwashes Natalie into sending her all of Gabriel's secrets. These secrets also pertain to the Miraculouses, the known wielders, and their Kwamis. It appears Lila receives all the information within Natalie's tablet, which, as seen by Marinette in Confirmation, contains the information she and Gabriel had gathered. So not only does Lila know about the Miraculous Grimoire and the secret identities of some of the Miraculous wielders, but she should also have the formula to fix a broken Miraculous. In truth, Gabriel uses the formula from the spellbook to heal Dusu and the Peacock Miraculous. It stands to reason Lila now has that information. However, the spell to fix the Peacock Miraculous contained hard-to-find ingredients and seemed specifically tailored to a certain Miraculous. Meteorite dust and molten gold are requirements for the spell, but an additional additive for each specific Miraculous. If Master Fu hasn't already translated the portion of the book about the Butterfly Miraculous, Lila would need to do it herself, which could take some serious time. According to Marinette and Waze in episodes like Mr. Pigeon 72, deciphering the riddles and spells in the grimoire is challenging and can take an extended time. With the meteorite powder, then add the peacock feather. In the meantime, it would be best if Lila didn't wield the Butterfly Miraculous. However, the more time she spends around Marinette, who outed her lies in confrontation, the more likely Lila will want to start her act of revenge. It's unlikely that Lila will realize how quickly her health could deteriorate, as again, for Emily and Colt, using a broken Miraculous once was enough to make them terminally ill. There's no telling how quickly their symptoms manifested, but Natalie began feeling faint after using the Peacock Miraculous in Mayura. Also, according to Adrian, Natalie and Emily exhibited the same illness-like traits, which makes him weary of Natalie disappearing just like his mother. Assuming that the symptoms come on quickly, Lila would need to make up excuses for her sudden illness if she wanted to cause akumatizations. However, she often uses illness and injury as excuses to get what she wants, so the magically induced sickness given to her by the Butterfly Miraculous could work in her favor. She wouldn't need to be caught in a complete lie if she was fainting in class. And since she has a new personality and name to go by, everyone would believe that Cerise developed a gradually increasing illness. The few people who could potentially root out the cause of Cerise's illness are Adrian and Felix. 
the cousins have lost a parent to the same condition, who they had to watch become increasingly sick over time. They would notice the familiar systems if they paid enough attention, leading them to believe Cerise owned a broken miraculous. In this situation, she would need a convincing lie to persuade the two boys of her innocence. Unfortunately for her, Adrian and Felix are equipped to see through her deceptions. A few months later, the twin princesses gave birth to two little boys as similar as their mothers were. The broken butterfly miraculous wouldn't impact solely the wielder, as expressed by Dusu in Truth. Much of her personality throughout season four occurred because she couldn't control the chaos in her mind. She became hyperactive and loud, and a detachment from reality made her oblivious to severe issues, such as cheering when Natalie had otherwise collapsed. If Nuru experiences these same symptoms, he won't be a good partner for Lila to rely on. Although he was forced into servitude by Gabriel, Nuru still cared for his wielder and tried to advise him when necessary. In Miraculous World Shanghai, Nuru encourages Gabriel not to interact with the Guardian of the Prodigious, even though doing so could have earned him his freedom. The kind and down-to-earth nature expressed by Nuru for most of the series could be lost, leaving him as a raving and confused Kwame, who is in significant pain. A final point to consider in this theory is how a broken Miraculous handles its powers. When Natalie created Senta Monsters using the Peacock Miraculous, the creatures she made appeared obedient and capable of following instructions. However, the moment they were damaged, say by a cataclysm like in the episode Reflect Doll, they went haywire. Their chaotic personalities are reminiscent of Dusu, who seems to have little control over her emotions. If a similar phenomenon occurred with the people akumatized by Lila, there's no telling what could happen. Like Gabriel, Lila will most likely turn the people of Paris into villains rather than heroes, which means their negative thoughts and feelings will be at an all-time high. Most akumatized villains receive their powers during a moment of weakness or when they feel like all hope is lost. Lila can capitalize on this because she knows, as she explains to Marinette in Chameleon, that she manipulates others by telling them what they want to hear. The magic guardian of the prodigious is a formidable opponent. You'll never be able to defeat him. Who said I would be the one challenging him? It's difficult to say what an unstable akumatized villain could look like, but a good example could be the titular villain in Cap Blanc. After learning the truth about his father, Adrian is akumatized against his will. He tries fighting the commands given by Hawkmoth, but instead, his cataclysm wipes out all of Paris. Cap Blanc could hardly contain his new abilities, and when Ladybug later appeared to save him, he couldn't help crying in anguish while trying to complete the goal given to him. Lila always succeeds in maintaining control of a difficult situation. She lies and cheats throughout most of the series without getting caught, which is a significant achievement. Yet, with so much evidence stacked against her, wielding the broken butterfly miraculous could be her undoing. After enduring the abuse from Gabriel for many seasons, no Miraculous fan wants to witness Nuru descending into madness. However, after a finale like the one in Recreation and the death of the series' main antagonist, the showrunners must find a new way to raise the stakes. The dominoes have lined up to break the Butterfly Miraculous, creating conflicts for not just Lila but Ladybug and Cat Noir too. Luckily, even if Nuru's Miraculous did receive damage during the fight between Monarch and Bug Noir, ways to repair it have already appeared, and it could be the key to Nuru's salvation. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe to our channel, and turn on notifications to stay updated on our uploads. Prodigious is a formidable opponent. You'll never be able to defeat him. Who said I would be the one challenging him?